Welcome to In the Studio. My name is Jeff Shaw, and we're lucky today to be joined by Ning Wan. She is uh, going to be talking a little bit today about the Davis International Film Festival. Uh, Ning, thank you for coming in today. Um, I'm glad you're able to make it. Uh, so tell me, the Davis International Film Festival, before we talk about that, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Davis Cross-Cultural Foundation. So this is a nonprofit organization, yes. and you are the chair of it. Correct? Yes. And uh, when was this organization founded? Um, the Davis Cross Cultural Foundation was founded um, last year uh, okay. in the early spring um, because we heard this beautiful story about the, you know Chinese and the American people, uh, the friendship. Uh -huh. and, and, the, how, and you, go ahead and tell me a little bit about that story. Sorry, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, during the, that time, you know, Chan, Chinese person visited the U.S. and he, um, when the first time he visited the U.S. This was the president? Yeah, the president, the current president, Xi Jinping. Okay. And he told a story about a Chan, um, uh, uh, UC Davis professor. Uh -huh. uh, so he was uh, growing up in China, raised in China. He, he had this uh, uh, great memory about China, and he always wanted to go back. But because China has this cultural revolution and all this uh, you know, change, he wasn't be able to make it to that. And about when was that? Uh, that, that was Time like a, um, 1970s. OK. Yeah. So he couldn't go back? Uh -huh. Yeah, he cannot go back to China, and he passed away. But uh, his wife, uh, Mrs. Gardner, was, uh, you know, remembered, you know, when he passed away, he said, cooling, cooling. He, and what is that? That's a, a location. OK. So um, actually, she doesn't know what was that. Yes. And there was a visiting scholar, you know, came from China, living in her house. And they just try to figure out what is that about. And huh. eventually, um, he found out from stamp. That was a, a, a place in China. She happened to see, she saw the stamp. Yeah, she just he, gave all these yes. things to this uh, wizard scholar and said, okay. you know, I, I want to know uh, oh. what is cooling. And he found out from stamp, as right down is cooling. Yes. And then he wrote an article about, you know, this story. So, okay. you know, how this professor, you know, uh, memorized his childhood, you know, yes. uh, the place. And this, this article was, uh, um, uh, published in the People's Daily newspaper. That, that's the government's uh, newspaper. And at, at that time, China's president was, uh, was uh, uh, a leader of the province at that place. Of that particular yeah, location? Yeah, uh, uh, particular uh, Fujian province. OK. And he read this article, and he said, wow. You know, that's a great story about the Chinese and the United States, the people, you know, the friendship. Yes. And uh, he found out where is this person, yes. and, and he invited um, Professor Gardner's wife to China to visit the village. Okay. And at that time, I believe, you know, they're still like a childhood friends uh, of the professors. Uh, what if? Uh, oh, the, the, child, the, the friends, you know, from the childhood. Oh, yes. That's like the people are 90s, yes. so almost 100 years old. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, so that, that great story was, uh, you So know, she visited and? Yeah, she visited. Okay. And uh, the story is because uh, this is uh, so, uh, it's a very good story about the friendship between two countries. Yes. And the, when the president visited the United States on 19, uh, 2012, he okay. told this story to everyone in the. Uh, he came like, to California. Uh, no, the California, I believe, is in Washington. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And then uh, what connect to us is because this story is about the Davis. Yes. Yeah. So um, my, you know, my brother, um, he's uh, like uh, works in the film uh, area yes. in China. So I told this story. I said, Do you know? This story is so beautiful, and it's about us, Davis. Yes. So, uh, so we, he was inspired, and you, um, uh, just to back up a second, you were the, uh, you said you were the principal of the, of the, of the uh, uh, New South Chinese School. So I've done, I've lived in Davis more than 20 years, 24 years. And a lot of people at home are probably familiar with the um, New Star Chinese School. Yeah, so the we, classes that you, and the classes are no longer offered? Or they're still, yeah, they're still going still on. Up. It's just my kids going off. I'm not, uh, you know, actually, uh, I'm still going there to dance. Right, but, but the, 
the mission of the Chinese New Star was to uh, have cultural exchange, and you're sort of continuing with the cultural exchange yes, mission, yes, uh, but yeah. just with a different nonprofit now. I would yes, say. yeah. Um, and so, uh, go ahead and tell me about your brother. Then, so your brother is uh, involved at the film fest, film uh, industry in Los Angeles. Uh, in China. In China. Oh, in China. In okay. China. Okay. And then you know, I. I told him about his story, and uh, then he told his friends. Though those are very famous, you know, actors, directors, and all yeah. these people. They say, "Oh, you know, why don't we, you know, we we, we well, want to we support go to you? Davis. Yeah, why don't we go to Davis?" And they yes. did. You know, that's why the last year so many of them came <laughs> wow. to here. Yeah. Yeah. So they uh, and they had to pay their own way, or uh, all the start. So. This, this, to let the audience know, then last year was the inaugural year for the Davis International Film Festival. So your nonprofit, the Davis Cultural um, uh, Cross, Cross, Cross Cultural Cultural Foundation, Foundation, yes, have a board of directors. You're on the board. You're the chair of the board of directors. Um, and last year, you uh, as one of your ma your main project, I would say, was hold was the, s starting the inaugural Davis, yeah, International, Davis International, International Film Festival, which yes. uh, we were at and we recorded some of the footage. And there were a lot of people from China there. Yes. And so did they have to? They paid all their own way. They had. How did the? How did so, it all come about? Yeah. So those people are uh, very famous stars uh, in China. Right. Um, you, usually, you know, you have to pay a lot of money to, you know, invite them to any event. Yes. But they just, they just like the Davis this place yes. and uh, the came for free. But right. we just have the hosting and then. So those did, money came did, from. Did everyone know the story that uh, sort of connected Davis to China? Yeah, I, I believe like uh, the uh, chancellor of UC Davis knows, and okay. many people knows about this story, especially you know if you know a lot of Chinese culture. Yeah. yeah. So and. Uh, I mean, it sounds like it was the people in China then uh, sort of wondering what is Davis like or what is uh, because of the professor, and whose professor, what was his name again? Yeah, his Gardner? name is uh, Milton Gardner. Okay, and the, and the city again was Guling? Yeah, the, uh, the Chinese, it's a village. It's a village, it's a okay. It's called Just Kuling. Yeah. Just a small, very, it's, very small yeah, village. Yeah, it's a very small village. Um, and so this year you're adding in, uh, so let's back up to the Davis International Film Festival. Then the, this year it's happening on October 16th. 16th. It's again yeah. at the Mandavi Center? Or? No, it's at okay. ARC. At, at the ARC Pavilion. Yeah. So still on the UC Davis campus. Still UC Davis. Very UC prestigious Davis. Uh, campus among uh, agriculture schools and everything. Uh, and it's at the Arc Pavilion, is that right? Yes. Okay, so the same lo same location as last year, um, with uh, because the Arc Pavilion. Oh, the Arc. No, is no, the Arc is the other side of right, campus. Other side yeah. Campus, correct. Yeah. Um, and so that's on October sixteenth. Prior to that, you're having an event at the uh, uh, state capitol, and that is related to our wonderful uh, scroll that we see before us here. Um, tell us a little bit about that as we look at this. Uh, look at this. Look at yes, some of the so uh, before the uh, festival, we will have a um, Chinese fashion, uh, like what I'm wearing. It's called the Qi Pao. And how do you uh, say that again? A little bit slower? Qi Pao. Qi Pao. So, uh, uh, how does it, how, maybe it's even slower than that. How do you say it? It's Qi Pao. Qi Pao, okay. Yeah. So, uh, this is a kind of a tradition Chinese custom, what I'm wearing. Uh, we'll have uh, like everyone wear this uh, custom will go to uh, state capital on the October 14th at the west side of a building. We'll have a fresh mob and we'll kind of sing in fashion, you know. So, uh, okay, and we'll how many one. people do you expect to be there dressed in this, uh, in um, this wonderful costume? I'm um, expecting 80 people. And on this, on this particular scroll, uh, what is the significance of this scroll that we have here? So this is a part of uh, uh, China's uh, uh, fashion uh, culture uh, event. Uh -huh. so, so this team that came to Davis, they came to San Francisco, they went to uh, like Canada, uh, Tokyo, and uh, New Zealand, uh, and Australia, you know, many countries, places. And they're doing a very long one for the Guinness World Record. For the what now? It's, yeah. it's called the Guinness, how did I say it right? Yeah, yeah, Genies, okay. Yeah, uh -huh. World Record. So we're just part of it, but we have uh, like uh, 150 people, local people from Davis, from Sacramento, and made this. Uh huh. So this is about, a, if, we, if we were to unscroll this, which we can't because it's so large. Yes. Uh, 
we would have 150 people on here, basically. Yeah, so... And uh, was it taken all at once or sort of... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, it takes for like four-day projects. So the, the, the have makeup artists come to here and uh, uh, two teams. Wow. Yeah, and they did like all this. Yeah. That's amazing. And uh, they bring the costume to here, you know, not everyone have this. Okay, and where do they all come from? Do you have to arrange for that as well? Yeah, I, I arrange them. So we rent a hotel in, the whole hotel in uh, Sacramento okay. for four days. Wow. And then we uh, they bring like more than 100 uh, Chinese costumes here. And uh, yeah. then I found the local people who willing to participate that have to pay a fee yes. to, to get, you know, everyone got the long scroll like individual ones yes yeah so so getting back so this is all part of that build up to the hype to the international film festival which is happening on the 16th and tell me uh are these films from all from china or where are they from uh primarily? no it is uh like uh, international film, film festival we uh accept the movies online so it's I, I believe it's more than like 80 hundreds, all these films. Oh, wow. Yeah. Amazing. And uh, for the two years, we received more than 1,200 uh, films. Okay. Yeah. And this is all through your, your brothers primarily organizing? Uh, no, or, okay. it's all the nonprofit here. Okay. So we are the nonprofit that we have. Uh, wow. I, I, I do want to uh, 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 recognize our board members. Please do. Uh, yes. Yeah, the Jason Ning Davis from Davis and uh, Lydia Sen who is our treasurer, and Xiao Ping Diao, who is from Sacramento, and the Jun Wan, who is from China. So that, that's our, our board members. And so can anyone attend the Davis Fil International Film Festival? Anyone from the public? Yes, it, it is open to public. And uh, uh, if you go to our website, that's davisiff.org, mm -hmm. you'll see you know, how to buy the tickets and join us. And we welcome everyone. Okay, and is anyone welcome to attend uh, the, the Chinese Fashion Project event on October, the, before the film festival at the state capitol? Definitely. You know, uh, this is very exciting news. We invited, uh, we found the uh, teacher, the dance teacher, who is the most famous dancer in China. Mm -hmm. She just immigrated to U.S., and I found her, and I said, okay, could you, you know, uh, help us just organize, and he, she did everything. That's excellent. Yeah, so... I, I think what you've put together is just an amazing uh, large event. I mean, the amount of people involved and the amount of films that people can see. How many films about will be shown? Um, we have, like, uh, the finest, we have about 20. But okay. the, the some are very short movie. You, you can see, like, animation, 10 yes. minutes, and uh, a lot of this kind of movie. So we'll, we'll show two here, right? Yeah, we are. We're going to actually leave um, uh, tonight, today's show, uh, with an example from the film... Uh, an example of a film from the Davis International Film Festival that, uh, that Ning has uh, made available to us. So we have a special treat for that. I want to remind everyone, if they want more information, to go to davisiff.org. That's the Interna Davis International Film Festival. If you want more information about Ning Wan or the Davis Cross Cultural Foundation, you can, can go to uh, it's dccf.org, I believe. Yes. Um, so please, thanks for joining me today, Ning. I hope you have a very successful event on October 14th and on the 16th. And please uh, enjoy this animation from the Davis International Film Festival. <laughs>